Okay, welcome to the Flash Interactive product display tutorial provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, this video is only a sample video giving you an idea of what is a part of the actual tutorial uh, located on MasterFlash.net, uh, which is where you can find all the source files, all the relevant material to this tutorial. So uh, I'm going to grab this, change this to 255. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put an instance name on this one. I'm going to call this red underscore slider. All right. And I'm also going to copy this, paste it down, copy that again, paste it down. And of course I need to go in here and change the uh, instance names for these as well. So I'm going to ch take this middle one, set this up as green underscore slider. All right. And grab this one down here. Of course, we need to set this up as uh, blue underscore slider. All right, now I'm getting ready to uh, mesh you up. Although on the site, you saw that I made the sliders kind of tinted. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set that up. That way, we don't have to uh, go through some confusing action script later on. We'll basically just run through it. Okay. Just keep in mind for these right now, we have this set up as red slider, green slider, and blue slider. Okay. And what we're going to do in order for us to actually tint this, to change the color of these because yes CS4 and CS3 offer the ability to come in here and basically change these to whatever color that you want um, the thing about that and this one is that you know once you change one of these components colors inside of its properties it's going to change the rest of them so the only way that we have to uh, change the color on these is to actually uh, tint these through here and of course there is ways of scripting I believe to uh, set it up, but that would just add on a bunch of different uh, or a bunch of time. So doing it this way probably save you a little bit of time. So taking this, convert it to a movie clip. I'm going to call this uh, red underscore tint. Hit OK. And with that still selected, I'm going to go ahead and give this an instance name of red underscore tint. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for the green. F8 green underscore tint. Hit OK. Give it the instance name of green underscore tint. I'm going to do the same thing for this uh, blue slider down here. F8, blue underscore tint, instance name of blue underscore tint. All right, so we could basically just go in here and go ahead and set this up. So if I grab this red slider, all right, I'm going to come into the color effects, grab the tint, set it to red, all right, and depending on how you want this to look, okay, I'm just going to keep it solid for now, but you can come in here, all right, with that selected, basically drop the alpha on this to uh, lighten the load a little bit, if that's how you want to do it, but for now, I'm going to keep it 100%, so I'm going to set this up for the green too, all right, set the blue one up, all right, and uh, I guess we could go ahead and set this up just to kind of show you how this is going to work. Um, go ahead and grab your rectangle tool and come down here, grab a gradient. All right. And what I'm going to do is really just kind of draw just a simple line just like that. And uh, I'm going to bring this up top here. Looks at about the right distance. Actually, out of pixel off. I'm going to set this up. Actually, I'm going to set this up at uh, 257 or 257. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and get my color swatches back in here. And what I'm going to do is, I didn't want that to happen. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm going to do is set this up. I'm just going to grab this, slide it over here. Get rid of that. Um, all right, so I'm going to have the black line from left to right. I'm going to set this up to red. All right, I'm just going to copy this. All right, change this to green. Copy that again. Set this up at blue. All right, basically how it's going to work. We're going to be sliding from the left to right, all right, in this type of setup. Of course, you can spin this around any way you want, but from starters, we're going to start this off. So basically, if they just grab this one and start dragging it, it's going to start at black and move on to the bright red. And of course, you can mix your colors just like that. Uh, all at the same time, this will be changing colors as well. 
All right, so uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else for us to set up in here. Um, I think this is a good point for us to go ahead and get rocking on some action script. We basically have our controls set up. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and jump into our action script file. All right, and to start this off, what we have to set up is the package, typical uh, document class. And since we have this set up inside of a directory called scripts, we need to set that up. Scripts, opening bracket, okay? We need to uh, import a bunch of stuff. So we're going to import uh, fl.events.slider event, semicolon, next line. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Yeah, all right. I'm going to... Uh, Keep this last. We're going to just kind of do this down the down the line. All right, we're going to import flash dot geom dot color transform semicolon import flash dot display dot movie clip semicolon import flash dot events dot mouse event semicolon import flash dot events dot event semicolon and of course import flash no fl dot events dot slider event semicolon all right now uh, of course if you haven't renamed your action script file for the start files this is where you would uh, kind of need to update that we need to set up our class as public class uh, prod underscore coloring extends movie clip opening bracket all right and of course what this needs to be is the actual name of your action script file okay so uh, this also needs to be what you have in your uh, you know properties panel panel in your main file as the uh, document class title also all right so go ahead and jump down here let's go ahead and set this up public var preview preview drag colon movie clip and what that's going to be, obviously, I can't exactly explain this, but what this is going to be, um, when they go to grab the movie clip outside of this color preview to drag it up and drop it on these, we basically need to uh, create sort of like a dummy movie clip that allows us to do that. So that's basically what that is. All right. And here, all right. Or not values, I guess numbers would be. Yeah, values is good. All right, so what we're going to say here is public var red underscore fixed colon number equals zero semicolon. Go ahead and copy that. All right, basically we're going to make this one blue, green. All right, now what this is is while we're... You know, setting up our movie clips in here to uh, change colors, all right, and along with the sliders to make our preview update by changing colors, uh, we have to come up with a basic value of uh, what the red's going to be, what the green's going to be, what the blue's going to be, and it's basically the fixed value for whatever color, uh, which is something that's going to allow us to reference this to uh, basically update everything and uh, use as a final color. Now, I know that doesn't make much sense, but in the code later on, that should start to uh, sink in a little bit. And what we're basically doing is setting this up to be black, okay? Because obviously red at zero, green at zero, blue at zero is uh, the equivalent to uh, a black, all right? And basically how you can tell your colors, all right? Again, just want to point this out through here. Now, if I wanted this to be black, just drop it down to zero. Obviously, you see that it changes black, all right? Now, if I had a straight color in here of blue, everything would be 0, 0, 53, or 153, and of course, for a different one, all right, it's fully green. For fully blue, it's that. Of course, if you wanted to get a messed up color in here, like pink, that's it, all right? Get to look at that color for a while now. Fantastic. All right, um... All right, so what we have to do now is basically create our constructor. So let's go ahead and hop down here on the next line and say public function prod underscore coloring, which is the name of our action script file name, opening, closing parentheses, opening bracket, next line. 
Okay, so that is the end of the sample video for the Flash Interactive product display tutorial. To locate the source files and all the relevant information for this video tutorial, head towards masterflash.net and you can either run a search on the site for interactive product display or uh, follow the link below and uh, you will be able to locate it. Hope you enjoy it.